Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Let's talk about a Bitcoin price prediction and look at the Bitcoin scenario where it sits right here, right now. Guys, this has been an amazing last three or four days to kind of be in crypto and watching. So the overall crypto market, as of recording this video, down about 1.3%. Uh, and Bitcoin, Ethereum, again, as recording this video, just turned positive. They've been in the red uh, for the first part of today and just turned positive. But if you're looking at Bitcoin itself, um, you can see that right here, right now, in its 24-hour trading range, it is above, actually, it's, it's, it's at that, you know, that high end of that 24 our trading range. Okay, up 2.4%. Again, volume crazy um, as always. And if you look at the last seven days, uh, you know, you had the scenario playing out where Bitcoin was being impacted by the Russia-Ukraine war, um, all that was going on there. And then, and then, you know, we basically just turned back on um, in the last, uh, you know, yeah, in the last four or five days, if you will, about four days, right? We turned back on, had this really massive spike where we went from, you know, that 38,072 uh, range all the way up to 43,000. I mean, that was insane. Uh, you know, that was an insanely great day. And we've had, now we've established since, since, you know, since around uh, what, 5 p.m. Um, on the 28th, we've had this kind of consolidation period playing out here where we got this sideways action. This is okay with me, all right? This is a good thing. This is just fine, all right? You want this, you want to establish this level of support, just similar to like right here. Look, see, we have this level of support right here, this the, for, from the 24th to about the 28th. We had that four day where we were sideways. So we spiked up. Now we've got a really nice level of support here as well, all right? Now, kind of looking at, looking down and down to the future, if you will, down to the future, that was weird, looking into the future, then uh, here's what I kind of see happening. Number one, the fear and greed index is looking way, way better. So uh, really three days ago, we were at a 20 uh, five. All right. Now, yesterday we went to a 51, 52. This is really what I'm calling the sweet spot of the fear and greed index. I love it when we're neutral because when we're neutral, you tend to get those better, those better scenarios playing out where people are a lot more confident and they're a lot more, okay. They're not, there's not as much fear rampant in the overall market conditions. Okay. Also, before we get directly back to Bitcoin, there's some things that you need to understand that are outside influences on Bitcoin in the overall crypto market. Number one, the, the, the Federal Reserve uh, and Powell has come out and said that yes, there, there basically is a liftoff set for March, that they are going to raise the rates in March here in the States. This is a good thing. Obviously, the Dow futures, NASDAQ futures, let me refresh this, um, are, yeah, look, the, you know, oh yeah, we've, sorry, I apologize. I hadn't refreshed. Dow and NASDAQ ha have, are reacting very, very, very positively to this news uh, related to the Fed policy uh, update scenario and the rate, the, the Federal Reserve rate being raised. Now, uh, why should you care related to Bitcoins? Because Bitcoin is impacted by this Federal Reserve situation playing out, okay? Secondly, there has really, in my mind, been a decoupling happening, you know, literally a decoupling between Bitcoin and the crypt and, and the stock market as it relates to the Russia-Ukraine war, okay? Because if you look at it, uh, the Russia-Ukraine war, I mean, yesterday and the day before was not good in stocks and crypto was on fire, okay? So there's that situation playing out that's really interesting that I think is directly impacting Bitcoin as well. Thirdly, there's been this dialogue been happening that, hey, is the money flowing from, say, uh, a lot of just regular citizens in Russia because of all the banking station, uh, uh, sanctions, because the devaluation of the Russian ruble, et cetera, is a lot of that money been flowing into Bitcoin? And if you think about it, I read a real, I read a real interesting article this morning. It was talking about the fact that that's not enough money if you will, to really be the reason that Bitcoin has had this pretty major meteoric rise, in, you know, from mid to high thirties all the way up to this forty-five thousand dollar range. There you go. We touched. We we peaked up over forty-five. Yes, that is awesome. That's a big deal. As of recording this video, that's a big deal. We could get up over that forty-five thousand, maintain it, put that in a review mirror. This is a big thing. So finally, as far as the price prediction goes. I think that we're well on our way to about 47,000 is, is, is per some, some technical analysis that I've looked at. 47,000 is that next major, major price point out there that's our resistance level that we've got to get above and beyond. And then obviously after that, the big one is that 50,000 mark. And I fully expect, 
that if market conditions remain the same, the 47 to 50,000 by within two weeks from now is a very reasonable scenario to be looking at um, in that context. Because if you kind of, if you kind of have really been paying attention, you've been looking at it, the Russia Ukraine war really is not impacting crypto anymore. In fact, crypto is really kind of benefited from it a little bit because of all of the the dialogue and the news media and coverage around Bitcoin and Ethereum. You also have the, you know, the Federal Reserve now getting ready to finally raise raised rates to take that uncertainty out of the market by raising those rates. This is a good thing, okay? And you saw that the the stock market's reacting well to that in, in that context. We got the fear and greed index looking good, overall social sentiment. So I fully expect money to continue to flow back into Bitcoin and, and, and Ethereum as well and see that continue to evolve. So there you go. Bitcoin price prediction, 47 to 50,000 within about two weeks, I think is pretty reasonable right here, right now. As always, I appreciate you. Have a good one. And this video was for entertainment purposes only. I'll see you.